The Hague Convention is what governs international adoption. It was passed by Congress in 2006. It states that each country must appoint a central authority for adoption. The central adoption authority was designated by Congress to be the Department of State. However, Congress said the Department of State cannot directly regulate adoption agencies. So, according to law, the Department of State must contract with a separate accrediting entity. Historically, that accrediting entity has been COA, or Council on Accreditation. Now, the Department of State Office of Children's Issues has an adoption chief who testified before Congress. That day, she stated, Adoption is one of the most unregulated industries in America today. She believes that most agencies are corrupt. In fact, she testified, I entered the world of adoption believing what I'd always heard, that most agencies operated ethically and that there are a few bad apples. I no longer believe this to be true. So we have an adoption chief who believes most agencies are corrupt and the field is unregulated. As a result, we have seen a massive increase in regulation, decrease in the number of agencies, and status of all, a decrease in adoptions. Since the adoption chief is committed on reducing the number of agencies, she gave a mandate to CUA to take more adverse action. This makes sense on the surface. If most agencies are corrupt, why isn't CUA shutting them down? Why aren't they finding more corruption? Is it because they aren't looking hard enough? Or because it isn't there? CUA refused to take unwarranted adverse action against agencies, such as suspending or disbarring them without reason. Evidently, COA was unable to comply with this unreasonable mandate. This required the Department of State to find a new accrediting entity, but no legitimate entity could be found, since no one is more qualified than COA, and no one wants the liability of enforcing the mandate to reduce the number of agencies. Therefore, the adoption chief helped set up a new accrediting entity called IAAME, and COA quit as an accrediting entity. This was a violation of the Hague Convention, since the Department of State is essentially functioning as an accrediting entity. And if IAAME acts as the adoption chief's puppet, we can assume they will take the unwarranted adverse action against agencies that COA was unwilling to do. The only acceptable outcome for the adoption community is for CUA to be reinstated as the accrediting entity, but CUA will not agree to this unless they can operate fairly. We are unlikely to see CUA as an accrediting entity unless there is a new adoption chief. And that is the outcome that will save adoption. Hiring a pro-adoption chief is the first of 18 solutions to save international adoptions. To see all 18 solutions, please visit saveadoptions.org.